Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called For Loop, and in this video we're going to continue from where we left off with the while loop, and we're going to learn a little bit more about how to use PHP loops. So let's do this. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 20 for loop. In your code editor, make sure to open up the same folder, 24 loop, and open final and practice.php. Practice.php is the sandbox which you are going to be using to build what is in final.php. Final.php looks a little something like this. Here's the final example. We have a list saying number zero all the way through 20, and we're using the PHP for loop to achieve that result. So let's jump into the lecture. For loops are a little trickier to wrap your head around, so hang in there. For loop is used when you know in advance how many times the script should run, says W3Schools. The syntax looks like so. For, initialize counter, then test if true, then increment the counter. And then inside your curly braces, execute some code. So essentially, the for loop will initialize where the loop will start counting by adding a value to a variable then evaluate a certain condition to test if the condition is either true or false. If the condition is false, the loop will stop running. Then increment the value by one each time we loop through. So if we want to have our for loop spit out the numbers 0 through 20, we could code the following. For a is equal to 0, so we initialize the counter, then a less than or equal to 20. So we'll test if this is true. So if A is less than or equal to 20, then increment the counter and then echo the number or the text number and then the variable A and then a break tag. So if coded correctly, this should echo the numbers 0 through 20 on your screen and stop at 20. So if we look at the final example, that's exactly the case. So let's jump into our code editor so that we can achieve this ourselves. All right, so here in practice.php, I've, I've pre-filled the constants, custom variables, and I've echoed the titles here, the lesson number here, and down here I've echoed the date and the my name variable. Go ahead and do that yourself. And then once you're done, let's jump into the sandbox. All right, so here in our sandbox, let's code our for loop skeleton. Very simple. Here it is. And so the first argument in the for loop is to initialize the counter. So let's add a variable. Let's call it a. And let's say it is equal to 0. So we'll initialize the variable at 0. That's where it's going to start. Semicolon. The next argument is the condition to test uh, if true. So let's say a is less than or equal to 20. So this is going to check to see if a is less than or equal to 20. Then the third argument is to increment that counter. So then a plus plus. Now inside here we're going to execute some code each time we loop through this for loop. So we're going to simply echo number, then the variable a, and a break tag. So we could break each loop on a new line. So save that and let's check it out in the practice.php. There it is. Super simple, super easy. So that's essentially how you use the for loop. And remember, the for loop is used when you know how many times you want to loop through something. So if you're counting a set of numbers, if you're incrementing or decrementing uh, a set of numbers, you could change the where you want the variable to initialize, and you, want, you can change the condition to test. The number could be different right here. And so yeah, that's essentially the for loop. It's actually pretty simple once you uh, get it going. The only thing confusing about it is just understanding the arguments here inside the parentheses. So really that's it. I'll see you in the next lecture.